Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Our guest has something to say. Let's listen to that. Hello. Oh, hi. This is C4C and you're live with me. How are you? I'm fine, C4C. <laughs> <laughs> Could you say hello? Good evening. Could you say hello to the viewers, please? Hello, viewers. Good evening. Good morning. Anywhere you are watching from, uh, <laughs> I'm happy that I'm online with you guys. Uh, oh. I just have a little story to share here. Okay. So, so go on, please. Okay. Uh, C for Chi, thank you so much for giving me this uh, opportunity. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm a Delta girl, Delta Ibo. Okay. From Ndukwa East. I base in Europe. So I just want to give light because I've been your fans. Mm. I've been following you since all this while. So I've heard a lot of story. So I said to myself, it's good for me to come up and still share my story. Mm. You know? Yeah, it's a touchy one, but. Um, um, I just want to give light to the young ones coming up. So I've become a single mother at the age of 28. Mm -hmm. So um, I have four kids. So I came, I came to Europe when I was uh, young at the age of uh, 13. Ooh. So my, yeah, at the age of 13. <laughs> So, uh, my sister brought me here, anyway, uh, with the husband, because uh, the husband gets married to my sister. So, they left Nigeria to live in Europe. So, at the time, my sister has a son, they were living fine, and uh, they have a business that the work is too much for them, you understand? Yeah. So, they filed for visa for me. I was really young, then I came in. But when I came in, it's a country that don't speak English, you understand? Yeah. I couldn't further is, um, uh, in Spain, you know, they speak Spanish here. Yeah. You know how it is when you go to a country that don't speak English. So I mm. grew up with them, okay? So I grew up with them. When I'm growing, I, st I stayed with them. Everything was fine. The husband treats me well. So I think I stayed till my 30 years, till my 17 years, when I met my husband. So my husband is a good friend of them, oh. you know, he's a good friend of them before I came in. So luckily when I came in, I had the file for document for me. So I had my document three months after, after I came in. So everything was smooth. So I was working with them at the shop. They, 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 my sister husband has this uh, shop, this, uh, what they call it, bo um, bookshop and then um, this um, uh, ca uh, cafe shop where you can do documents, you use your internet, you yeah. can make calls. So the thing was, you know, so I was living with them. So after when I was 17 years, I met my husband, mm -hmm. you know, they were, they were very good friends. So I don't know how to tell my sister. So I don't want to break the family and I don't want to disrespect the, the, the husband. So I move with faith, you know, I said, I must let them know, you know. So I talk, I talk to my, my sister husband first, you know, because the man is so simple. You understand? Mm -hmm. So he he gave me advice. So I he asked me who is the person. So I said I measured the name. So he was just like, ah, I don't know what to do, but keep watching. You are still young. You are still young. You know. So uh, after two days, he went to tell my sister. So my sister was just like, you are too young to go into marriage now. Why? why too young you know mm -hmm. so i decided the, the pressure was too much you know little girl now teenage i'm not even up yeah. to 18 you know the thing was just busting my head <laughs> so i <laughs> i fell for him so everything was smooth you know the way my later my sister they agreed 
because they have nothing to do. They don't want me to run away from the house, you know. So he, they decided to do it to mature. They called my father. Anyway, my I grew up in a Christian home. My dad is a pastor, you know. I didn't grow up in a polygamous home. You understand? You know what I mean? We are yeah, coming from. Yeah. So my family is just responsible. I will use this word like responsible family, you know. Yeah. So we are eight in number and the love is still going. You know, they all of us are still, you know, together. So that is it. So my father called in, he said, okay, then let my father to know. So they decided to, they, are you ready for marriage? The guy said, yes, that is my boyfriend. Then he said, yes. So after six months, six months of, you know, dating with him. So we, we, we move back to Nigeria to do the marriage. We get married. Then we get married in the court. You understand? Yeah. So we came back. I cannot. My dad was like, "You must marry in the church." You know, coming. You know, coming from a Christian background. Now you know what it is an pastor, a daughter. So you need to marry in the church. But I then I have a document, but my uh, boyfriend then don't have document. Then we were just suggesting that we sh the, the plan is that we we'll hold that marriage, you understand? Because I want him to, uh, the Christian marriage, but the others was done, like traditional and the court uh, marriage was done. So the, the white wedding, we didn't do that one because he wants to get, you know, ahead. So luckily we came back. After one year, he, he met somebody and the thing was, you know, the thing was um, granted. So we started living our life, you know. I get pregnant after all this, all this. Uh, I get pregnant at age of 19, you know. I had my baby. Everything was smooth, you know. So at the time, he told me that uh, he don't want to live in this city because he has been a very long time in this city. He just wants us to relocate, to still go far from our family, you know. We are someone, sometimes they can still pay us visits, you understand? Mm. So I was just like, okay, I then I agree with the idea. So he make move in the same Spain, but other, other, other city. You know, he make move, he went other city to move for a house capital you know so after two months he came back to pack all the things so i went and start living so i now have my baby in the capital now i move away from my family it's not like missing my sisters again you understand mm -hmm. we are uh, you know see my brothers the you know so I start living a new life again with him, you know, this is my, my, my home, you know. We start living everything, everything was really smooth, everything was smooth. I was really happy, ha, is that how marriage is sweet? <laughs> he cannot stay without me, you know, being around me, you know. He makes, he makes me see all other side of life, you understand? Yeah. So I fast forward. So when I have my first baby, then I, I get, after two years, I get pregnant again for the second one. It was just supportive, you understand? So at the time, I traveled back home. I traveled back home. Then I went first before him again. So I went home to visit the parents, uh, the, 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 the family. That is my mother-in-law. So I get there. What shocks me most is that, the, my mother in law is um what they call it um a native daughter mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. but he <laughs> yeah he, he never he never said that to me i was so shocked when i entered the house i saw one room with uh, this white clothes i was just like you know i was just passing the passage i want you know i saw some things that i've never in my life imagined you know that kind of a thing, you know, coming from a bad Christian background, I only see all this thing in movie. You understand? Yeah. So I called him. I called him. I said, I'm not comfortable. Are you sure this is your house? He said, yes. What is the problem? Are you not okay? Is my mom not treating you well? I said, fine, fine, fine. I'm comfortable. But I I saw one thing like a form of shrine in your home. He said, yeah, that is what my mom do. I said, what? You never mention it. Oh my God! I be, my that is my heart. My heart was just pumping because I was just 
thinking how am i going to sleep here what am i going to uh, how am i going to explain to my family i've never been in this kind of place then i start praying i say god help me look at i have you know we are talking about where i married so i have to you know i have to cancel myself i was afraid i didn't tell i didn't say it to anyone in my family i didn't tell my father i didn't tell my mom you understand i decided mm -hmm. to i decided to deal deal with it myself so i was just like at the first stage you could have told me you understand i love you so much but you you could have told me it's a decision that i would take so that one aside you understand mm -hmm. so uh i i i i i stay with the mother for uh, three weeks then i i went back to my parents place to still stay with them one week which is uh almost one one month already mm. so when i stay with her mom i see that you know she he sorry he is the only one that is in europe like my family we are eight in number uh the the six of us are in abroad you understand mm. so the, the 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 family is like he is a man me seeing the way he the the house is the mother is going to get water from the stream very far no dwell and my home is not like that you understand mm -hmm. so i felt I, I i i say to myself there is a lot of work we need to put in here you understand so i speak to the, my dad is my mother-in-law i just told her don't worry things is going to be fine when i come back we put on more work i'm going to tell my husband look and look and look he's a man but me is a woman i know what you know so i came back as i came back i told him i said look at like me i don't have i don't have problem because we am coming from my mom is okay my family is okay i don't have too much siblings in africa again you understand mm. so we need to do some you know some work so at a at a stage, I, I after one month, I decided to put boy home for the, the, the that is my mother in law. She was very happy. She was very happy. So after three months, we get her a boss. So we start developing, giving her, you know, so that she will live comfortable. Mm -hmm. You understand? I just take her like a mother. You understand? Me seeing somebody, you know, I said, ah this kind of old woman you understand so i did a lot of work there then later after on one month um, sorry one year we, we renovated the house we turned the house to another level and uh, the woman was very very happy it don't mm. play with me or to be honest i'm not here to to bring anybody down you understand mm -hmm. she don't play with me at that stage he, he she decided to change my name to my name is choma but she don't call me choma anymore she called me stainless you understand mm -hmm. as she go around she talk about me so let me fast forward because of time so that is it after I, all this drama now i've uh, uh, let me just say three years i've gone so after having uh, i was pregnant with my second child so i started noticing that attention he normally give me before started reducing mm. you understand mm. as a woman you have to you we understand mm. but for me i'm not a I'm, I'm not the talking type you understand i only do something i only do something that is something that will makes me happy something that will makes him happy what i like my husband more is he's very neat and me too i'm a neat person i don't joke with dirty at all if you come to my house you see my ties gee, i'm very 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 neat you understand yeah. so i love him for that i love him for that so things started changing so I, I called him i said ah why now i the kind of change i'm noticing now what is going on are you bothering there's something bothering you he said no nothing is bothering him all. so after I, I, I was eight months gone so one day i decided to check to check his phone because I don't check his phone. No, he's the one that sent me, Mommy, please, I left my phone at home. Can you please own it and give me because he don't put password. Me too. So no need, I'm not the type, you know, I only mind my business, you understand? Put me, I just see the first, you know, uh, WhatsApp now, I just see the first, uh, uh, the first name, it was a girl picture, you understand? I click on it. I I click on it, you know, I will not lie. I leave the message he sent me first, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know what 
yeah. take me to that place. I click on it. I saw a lady. They were just chatting, you know, love all this kind of thing. So I was, I break down. I decided not to tell him because sometimes, you know, whatever I'm going through, I don't, I don't just call my family and start talking because I, you know, I, guys, I just deal with it myself. Even him, I didn't tell him, look at what I saw in your phone. I live, I start living normal, like nothing is happening. I was just like, okay, maybe if he decided to see this one is Nigeria. The picture I saw was Nigeria. I said, okay, it's not here. Mm, nine sabi. So I decided <laughs> to do what he asked me to do. But, you know, human being, now sometimes my, my brain, I will still think about that, that, you know, my brain will still go. So like that. So I keep dealing with it, keep dealing with it. The attitude start changing. At one day, he just woke up. He said, I've gotten a ticket that he wants to travel to Nigeria. I said, okay, no problem. Uh, you go come before you come back. I'm due to, for labor, please. He said, okay, I should not worry. He will come before I give birth uh, to my second uh, son, uh, to my second daughter, sorry. So he went there. I saw some picture on Facebook, you know, like that. I was not really happy with the same picture I saw with the, the in his phone. You understand? Mm -hmm. I was not really happy, but I didn't bother. I didn't ask him. So he came back. I welcomed him. Then I have my child. I was just like, you know, I don't want anything to stress me. I have my, I, I have my baby. Everything was okay. So along the line, Along the line, something was telling me this man is getting out of hand. Oh, this man is getting out of hand. Oh. So one day I decided to call him at night, 12 o'clock. I said, Daddy, what is going on? Look at, look at, I can't hold it anymore. I'm human being. Look at what I see. He said uh, that he's sorry, that uh, he's a girl, that, that is, he didn't deny it. You understand? Mm -hmm. That he just won 10, he went to Nigeria, that is it. I said, okay, but be careful. You understand? I look over it. So there there was a time, after those incidents, he, he, he pleased, that is, he, he pleased for forgiveness. So I forgive him. So uh, nobody hears about it. We move on. So after another four months again, I see... He bring in passport, Nigeria passport. You understand? Nigeria mm -hmm. passport, you know? Mm -hmm. the, the passport is a lady passport. He said to me, Mommy, I want to bring somebody to to uh, Europe. I don't know. Please support me. He's my sister. I said, how is it your sister? You told me that your mom has 12 children. How is it? He said, no, this girl, this particular girl is the girl that the mother uh, the father give birth outside the, the mother's marriage. You understand? Mm. That the girl finally locates them, that he wants to compensate the girl, that the father that the father is late, so that the father will be happy when anywhere he is. I said, okay, I support Chi. Mm -hmm. To be honest, <laughs> I support, okay, I said, okay. I'm, I'm just speechless. Do you know, I'm just enjoying yes. your story and I'm speechless here. <laughs> I yes. can't believe I'm So speechless. I supported him with stuff for me, I didn't look at the picture very well. You understand? Did yeah. they, they, I didn't look at the picture very well. That is the same girl. So I started. So we filed for the document. After after three months, they grant the visa. You understand? We start paying tax. They, 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 they grant the visa. So we now we have to send the, the, the invitation to her. To them in Nigeria. So at the first place, I said, I'm making a mistake. I'm supposed to call my mother in law and inform her. So at this stage, that uh, visa is out. So I called my mother in law. I said, Mama, uh, look at what my husband told me. My mother in law said, Yes, so yes, so her name is Angole. Is my husband's uh, daughter. Hmm. So I said, Since my mother in law has given me this answer, Chi, who am I to say no? Let me just support them so that she, he can still have a sister here mm. in Europe. At least me having all my siblings around me, my seniors, I supported. They post the, the invitation back to them. So what they did is that my my husband's senior brother took that invitation with the girl. They went to to embassy, you know, for them to for them to stamp in the visa. You understand because invitation was already given and they've granted it here. You know what happened, Chi? God is a faithful God, you know. Mm -hmm. So instead of them to walk, 
to 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 follow the rules and the regulation in embassy that is to wait uh, uh, to wait because they pick a number they're supposed to wait till they get to their turn they, they they decided to go and look for a faster place they meet all this uh what they call it all these people that move around in the front of embassy i will help you to meet the overall you understand yeah. you pay me money you understand so they meet those people they they they, they said okay the people charged them i think it was seventy thousand naira then so they praised they they took their document they give it to these uh people they meet in the let me just say these French people. So these people they collected seventy thousand naira from them. After thirty minutes, they off their phone. They couldn't locate them. That is how. That is how the document was stolen from them. You understand? So when we are mm. waiting for them to call us that everything is okay, we didn't see their call. So I told my husband, "You call them now. You know how embassy is. You know." So he called them. They were just crying. The girl was crying. I was just like, "What happened?" He said, "They they they, they do them for uh, like for one." I understand they stole everything they gave. Yeah. So I was just like, "Oh God, why will you do such a thing?" Now we have to restart again. You understand what I'm saying? I didn't even know that is my own favor. I didn't even know that is my own favor. God is doing all these things. So we we are just. They went home. I started calling the girl. I encouraged the girl. I do call her. Can you see human being? I do call this girl since he said is the mother approved that it is the is the is the husband's uh, daughter. You understand? I do call her. I do talk to her since she's coming. I I used to tell her uh, sometimes the, the language what she have to say. You understand that kind of a thing. So they even knowing that my husband has already married this girl. Oh my days. Are you hearing me? Oh my days. Oh my so, oh 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 <laughs> hold on. Oh my god. This is this is so, hilarious. Wait. Even the, yeah, okay, the hold on, hold on. Crying. Was, yeah. Even the mother in law knows that they're married. Yes, they just want to cover up. Can you just oh. imagine what a human being that is I just came here to share oh my story my to enlighten people, you know? Yeah. Some people you see them start treating mother in laws very bad. You don't know you don't know the story. You don't you've never you don't you hear don't the story. Know, yeah. You understand? But for mm. me, out of the way I, I was brought up, I never let anything they did to me bother me. I just took it personal. They are all human beings. They are not God. Nobody is perfect. You understand? At this stage, my Facebook got blocked. I didn't even know that it's my husband that blocked it because you remember at first I've, I've, I was have comfort him that look at what i saw in facebook why will you do such a such a uh, such thing so me i'm not the type that go to facebook all the time so before i realize i see that my facebook is blocked you understand mm. so i didn't go for another one again after some while i said okay let me go and open another facebook again i opened another facebook G, to, to behold what i saw in people you may know the first way the, the second one i just saw this girl put marriage uh, to my husband, I was just short of words. I cried my life. So I was just short of words. I broke down all the all my efforts. I don't know who to console me. I cannot. I can. I don't. I don't know. I cannot run to my family. I can't break this marriage. I just tell God to give me strength to continue. Then I called him. I said, "You need to come back home. We need to talk." You understand? Mm. So I called him. I sit him down. I said, if I'm to be your sister, I call you, look at what my husband is doing to me. What will be your response? How are you going to handle this issue? Because I am heartbroken. Now all my energy is gone. So you make me to file a document for someone you have married in Nigeria. Oh I my was breaking down. He started crying. He said he don't know what come over him. And God is in my side that when he they called if i remember the time they stole their their passport and the the, the invitation from there from embassy then he started crying and said to him that is god that even punish him that is what he told me that is what he he he, he think in his mind so he was just pleasing i said okay our the marriage must move forward because i've already have two kids you know, this is what someone can divorce a uh, husband. 
you understand yeah. so he pleased me said anyone should not hear about it for christ's sake now i just want the marriage to to continue she can you let me i'm just saying this i'm not the type that talk too much or just because i'm just so i forgive we started pushing forward again after six months again i have another blow in my face somebody uh, somebody's pregnant for him again the same city where i am i cried again i said god what is happening to me why am i different in my family is that because my head is not good god why will you forsake me this time my mother have perfect marriage my sisters my brothers all of them are married no complaint no issue i'm i'm seventh position you understand second mm -hmm. to last mm -hmm. you see where i'm coming from i said where who will i talk to how will i face my parents to tell them look at what i'm going through you understand at this stage, I said, no, I need to speak to someone. Then I moved. I went to go and see our pastor, the pastor wife, so he can serve me. You know, Pastor of 18, I will tell you his prayer, which I grew up in a, a home where they pray. I continue mm. praying. Oh, this girl came up. He said he, he, he's pregnant for my husband. I just want to hear from him. Let me just know if it's true. So he came back. I gave him food. I, you know, I do what I supposed to do as a wife. So after he has relaxed, we slept. So the next morning, I called him at uh, seven o'clock. I said, "Look at somebody called me and said she's pregnant for you." Uh, she said, "Yes." Yeah, so it's just a mistake that I should just please take it like that. Can you just imagine without even thinking how I feel? I didn't say a word. Then after one week, the girl gave birth to a a, 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 talk, a a girl. So this girl was just the girl. The girl was just a carbon copy of my husband. I can't go and tell them to go and bring DNA because the DNA is already dirty. Mm -hmm. You understand the DNA, everything concerning. If you even see see the the child, you would think is my second child. Oh. I said, what will I do? It's a child. She, the one that pissed me more is that the girl and my and my husband they came at, at, at very close to my house. There is one hotel very close to my house. They rented that hotel for their naming ceremony. They shut all the city down. You can imagine what I have gone through. I was in my house. You know when you open when you open my blinds, that is the window. You will be seeing them. How the, the the light of the hotel is pumping, and my husband is there dancing. They did they did baby delication for two days. I've never seen in my life when they are doing baby delication two days. I was asked in Easy Barrier, hmm. close to my house, close to my house. I was just like, hey, oh God, help me! I'm still praying for him because I don't know what come over it at a position I couldn't hold it anymore I couldn't hold it where I give up where I give up finally he came one day he just packed all his load he said to me that he, he, he is not finding any anything attractive where I am you understand then he packed out from the house he packed everything I was just left alone with my property and the case this time around i i, I had the i had the three three children for him already this all this drama i'm telling you now so at the time i went i called my parents i have to let them know because the husband is not at home anymore you understand mm. so i called my 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 parents so i didn't tell them all this story i just told them that my husband left home we have little understand and uh, misunderstanding i didn't go to into details because i just want to protect him i don't want them to see him as a bad person you understand yeah so i i i, I my father advised me he said marriage is up and up and down he said even when i'm young i misbehave but luckily i find christ in me you understand he said mm -hmm. you have to pray your husband out so i started praying he didn't come back Two, uh, one more, two months, he didn't come Story back. Story for the gods. So, yes, <laughs> no half rent was paid. Uh. 
Uh, before then, I was just short of words. I don't know what to do. At that position, when I'm going through this drama, I was sick. I was rushed to the hospital. They said I am pregnant for the fourth one. I said, inside this is so boo. Then I'm this is pregnant. <laughs> God, how will I do this? Oh, my dear. Hey, I can't oh, even imagine. Oh, the you, one. Hold on a second. The are are you the person here? Are you the person I'm, I'm looking at? Yeah, this is me. When you see me now, I'm coming. I will call the whole story short if you see me now. Hey. So after they told me that I'm pregnant, so I was just like thinking. So I cannot left. I, I'm sorry. I cannot leave. Fourth, yeah. uh, fourth baby is coming. Where will I go with all this baby? Oh, my Where? God. So I have to, to stir, even if he bring up, even if he bring forth a, a, a wife to the house, I have to deal with it. All my own is that uh, paying the bills. But I waited; it didn't come. At a uh, at a stage, my landlord called me. Said I need to pack out from the house because we have not paid for four months. Wow, the whole story. Then I sit down. I said to myself, No man cannot do me like. Not that maybe. He saw me in the streets, pick me up from the street. No, he met me in a house. He met me in, in a responsible home. He married me as a virgin. Why will I be why will I be treated like this? I've never hurt him from once. He have no reason. No reason. I have beard enough. So what I did, I started fasting. Inside that prayer, I had a dream. Someone was telling me in that dream, I should check my phone and call one number that is uh, 000, 000. You understand? I said, I don't know which kind of phone and uh, number. I wake up at that sleep. I was just imagining the dream I had. You understand? So I tap that. I was just like, let me type this 00. Let me see. Because in that dream, they were just telling me, this is the person that can only help you in this situation. So I tap that. I, I was putting 00. I now find out that he's a lady I help years back oh. you know a lady i meet in it and i want to come for vacation he don't have where to stay we just on friend on facebook you understand yeah. so he loves the, the environment where i post picture he was just like one day ask me where is this i said it's spain you know spain is beautiful now yeah. you understand yeah. so he contacted me that is the lady so I, I called the lady. I said, I didn't tell the lady that this is what I had, the dream I had. I said, please, I need help. Then I decided to open up to this lady. 